Hi, it's one here. It's been a while, so I thought I'd do an update video. Um, I'm sweating because I just got back from getting a haircut. I got a shave. That's why my face is all torn up because I have sensitive skin, but I still like to get an old-fashioned shave sometimes, uh, occasionally when I go to the barber. Um, picked up a new light for Luna uh, from PetSmart. One of the Coro light, or no, it's a... Uh, Exoterra uh, UVB bulb. Um, I just got sick of the uh, ones, um, the Zoom at daylight, they just burn out too often. So, yeah, it was a little more than doubles, like 20 bucks versus the $8. But if it lasts more than six months, or hell, I, you know, these things could last up a year, I'm happy. As usual, I got a, yeah, right behind me, clean uh, pile of clothes to put away. And yes, like I said before, everyone, they are clean. I'm not freaking dirty. I wouldn't put dirty clothes on top of my couch. That's gross. So I'm not sure. I think the previous videos I hadn't moved it yet, but as you see on the other side over here, I moved my um, two 10-gallon uh, uh, cages with my Lava Lavender female corn snake and my Hypo Lavender Motley male corn snake and their 10 gallons over here away from my window because their water would evaporate so fast and it's tough to keep temperature control. I had to keep my air conditioning higher when I was away from home. You know, when I'm at home, I keep it like, you know, freezing. I like my place cold, as you can tell, I'm sweating from still being outside. Take a sip of uh, this Cherry Coke here. It's delicious. And this is, uh, I'm not affiliated with Cherry Coke or Norris is a sponsorship. So let's get into it. I don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to get up. I'm going to move the camera a bit. Yes, I still need bookshelves extremely badly. I just have yet to decide if I want to make my own or buy them. I'm getting my, trying to find my scale here. I'm not going to feed my snakes today. I'm just going to weigh them. Because they've been fed or their feeding day is not quite here yet. Put that here. Bear with me. I'm just moving aside into my little studio kitchen to just get the dust out of this uh, measuring bowl here for the scale the dish we are going to call it stay with me here the video is not paused or it's not uh, frozen I'm just out of the picture alright So I'm going to save Luna for last because, as you all know, she's a huge pain in the ass. Um, so, oh, I changed the angle of the camera. This video is taking longer already. All right. You got my paperwork here. I still have a file. And, yes, I have a file cabinet. I'm just, uh, on these 10-hour shifts overnight, my days off are all thrown off. And when I'm home, it's, it's a long day. So, anyway. Let's get into it. Let's do the little boy here. Ever since I put him on the bottom bottom end, I moved the Lava Lavender girl up here. I put the uh, Hypo Lavender Motley down here. Now, he likes to burrow, so he's a pain in the butt to find. She still burrows, and even Luna is now burrowing, which is great. I know they like doing it, but man, getting him out of the cage is a huge undertaking. Take my watch off. So let's see if I can find him. Well, I'm sure I'm not going to be able to, but how much I'm going to have to tear through his cage, that's yet to be seen. By the way, also, um, in the future when I do setups, I'm probably going to do, as I said before, a, a tub system. But if I do do a show tank like these or anything like that, I'm probably not going to get the Exoterra um, uh, hides or their water dishes. I'm going to tell you why. I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. They're heavy. They're nice but they're porous too. Um, I haven't had anything bad stick to it, but like when I'm, when I'm changing the water out, there's always that little bit of slime. If I let it sit there too long, probably get it in the plastic stuff too, but I, I, I think, and if anyone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think because it's the type of ceramic where it's not, doesn't have that um, gloss to it or that, uh, what I'm looking for, uh, coat, Maybe it's the slimy stuff is getting there a little quicker too often. I don't know. But, oh, man. Let's see if I'm going to use it. 
side. Oh, he's in his hide. He was sniffing, hoping he was getting fed. So he'll be easy to get out. I'm going to give him a moment so he realizes he's not getting fed. Because he is a ferocious eater, as those have seen my previous videos of him eating. So I think he realizes now he is not getting fed, in fact. So let me stick to see where his head's at. Okay. Pick him up. Come on, buddy. Yeah. This is my most, as you most know, if you watch my videos, this guy is my chillest snake that I have out of the three. Put my paper towel back in there. I like putting paper towel instead of that uh, moss stuff in their uh, cool hive in case they go poop. So, here is my hypo. Lavender Motley, as you can see, he's getting really nice growth. Um, he's eating uh, fuzzy every week, just one. And man, he's just cool as hell. I love him. He's got a little more of a mocha, and I'm more into the the uh, more purple lavender, you know, because as everyone, well, as people may or may not know, uh, most color snake morphs are never alike. You get lavenders that are more mocha, like coffee. You get lavenders that are more purple. And that goes for other morphs as well. Uh, there's a word for it, but I'm just not remembering it. If anyone does, please leave a comment so everyone can learn the word for that. Let it zero in here. Can't really put it down. You can kind of see it. There you go. Now, this guy is really easy to get in. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you're a good boy. All right, we got him at 54 grams. I'd have to check my previous videos and see how much he weighed then, but he is awesome. He is so chill. Nothing like Luna. <laughs> I love Luna. I'm never getting rid of her. She doesn't bite, although one time I could see she was tempted when I was trying to get out of the cage, but I love Molly. I think my next one's going to be an opal, which, if you don't know, is a lavender um, A melanistic, which is uh, uh, albino um, stripe. Uh, because that's one of the few um, morphs of lavender I don't have. I have, as you know, Hypo A, which is the this guy, Hypo. I have the Lava, which is, I believe, they consider a Hypo C. Um, I also have Montley, and I have Anutheristic. So um, what I would really like to get is a Coral Snow Lavender, or Coral Lavender. There was one breeder on cornsnakes.com that said that he had a clutch that could potentially have that. Um, and he hasn't posted since, and it's been like over a month. A lot of these corn snake breeders, for whatever reason, they started to post pictures on kingsnake.com, cornsnake.com, um, uh, cornsnake breeder, I think, .com or something like that. It's the board that's operated by the gentleman I bought my lava lavender from, forgetting his name. But even him, they, they, they started to post and they stopped. And I'm like, what the heck, man? I want to know what else you have. <sighs> so anyway, look at look how calm this little guy is. He's being shy for the camera, but... Oh man, he's just hella chill. Can't wait till he gets bigger. Oh, little buddy. Yeah. Alright, so let me put him back. Right. Yeah, you can still see me on camera. So, gotta change their water dish. He's out of water. Arizona's very dry, so these things go. No, no, you're not. No, you gotta go back in your cage, buddy. I know you want to come out. I find him a lot in these little uh, branches up there. He likes to. Uh, Venture forth, and he's not very shy. He comes out and says hello. Actually, this girl right here, the lava lavender, she was coming out quite a bit too. But she, you know, she digs. She comes out. Luna, a few weeks ago, I mentioned in my previous video, she was coming out a lot, and I know she was hungry, but she just has me more. It's like it's weird, and you know, she's in the same substrate, so I don't know. I think she's discovered burrowing now, so I think she's just burrowing more through the uh, aspen. So, let me pull my pants up. I lost weight, so it's a good thing, but no, my pants uh, fit. And I'm still waiting for my Don Hume's belt to be made, which reminds me I gotta contact the company I bought it from and get updates because they make to order, so it can take a while. Uh, she is always a pain in the free language, but ass to get out of this cage because she loves to burrow. Loves to burrow. Which I understand. Security, they like it, whatever, but it just makes my life more difficult. Got a spot clean these cages too, right? I'll do all that after the video so 
somewhat too big for this This is sure it's a talk of the mouth here. Really. So let's see. She has a little bit of an attitude when I find her. I'll take the crush for it. She still has another, she hasn't bit me. Right now, as I move this around, she's moving around. She senses. Ah, there she is. Come on, girl. Hang in there. No running away. No running away. I know she doesn't like that, but tough. She stopped wagging her tail, though. As she's gotten bigger, she's calmed down. She's always been very chill handling, but the initial, see, as you can see, she's a little jumpy as you first pick her up. She wants to feel secure. Um, she wants to wrap, which is fine. That's most snakes, but she's a little jumpy, so I'll let her relax before I put her in the uh, scale. But I tell you folks, and people that are watching my channel, I can't wait till she gets bigger. I mean, she is, I know it's a little unmanly to say this, but gorgeous. I mean, she is awesome. Her colors are awesome. She's high purple. It's got a shimmer to it. I mean, she is freaking fantastic looking. I cannot wait until she gets bigger. Uh, she's eating two pinkies, small, usually smaller pinkies too, uh, per week. <laughs> and of course, I'm still using this camera, and the colors are crap. And I apologize. And I know I've been talking about taking pictures, and I do have some pictures of her and the other snakes um, with uh, my phone camera, which is better, um, and posting them on YouTube, doing the thing. And uh, I know uh, Miss Vogel, I'm not sure, but. Ms. Vogel, which is someone I subscribe to on YouTube, and check out her channel. Um, she told me how to do it, and I just been procrastinating. So she's calm now. So let me try. She can be a little bit a pain because she want to come out. So I got to block her. Stand there, girl. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot the zero. I wasn't smart of me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And again, folks, she's a female lava lavender. All right, go on, girl. Go in there. Be, try not to be a pain in the ass today. You're gonna be a pain. Yeah, you're gonna be a pain in the ass, aren't you? Can't blame her, folks. I mean, this is not, you know, what snake likes to be stuck in a tub. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. God, you, come on. You're usually not this difficult. No, no, stay. Twenty-five grams it even down to. Come on, girl. Now he picked you up. I know, I know. Let's let's calm down. Let's come. Yeah, I know. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. You're so pretty. Pretty girl. I just wish I remembered the gentleman's name. I have in previous videos that I got her from. Uh, he like was either created or founded or discovered the lava gene. He's like the big lava guy. So. Time for Luna, <laughs> which I love. She's beautiful, but she is a pain in the butt. So before I put this one back for this mess I had to make, I really should have spot cleaned this before I just did that. It's all right. I've been keeping an eye out. Nothing major I gotta worry about. Also, when I do this, sometimes I gotta do it again because the temperature gauge uh, for my under the mat, uh, my temperature controller for the under the mat. I'm just using under the cage uh, cleaning that. When I move the substrate around, sometimes it'll mess it up. I've got to move that back. Feeding area, it's, it's a pain because i got to make sure I actually take her out and make sure she's in one of her hides that she can you know, actually stick her head out and smell the food. Because if not, like one time I left a, a, a pinky out and it, it, died. it just sat there. And I, I looked in the cage next morning. And I, I would have swore by looking at it, I should have looked at it more closely that it was, she ate it, but it ended up her, and it's gross, folks, I apologize, but under the heat lamp, under the, the light, it kind of like turned brownish and it kind of blended with the wood. I did notice it soon enough to get it out of there. I soaked the wood in, um, what was it, uh, vinegar water, soap, and cleaned the crap out of it before I even considered putting it back in. In, in her cage. There you go, girl. Right in the little honey. All right. 
clean their water out. Use some fresh water. These snakes love fresh water, folks. They do not like dirty water. I made the mistake of my uh, hypo lavender motley uh, corn snake, my male. He, I guess, I, I'm usually very good about paying attention about when the snakes need water, fresh water or water at all. But when he was on the other side by the window, I must have lost track or something. You know, stupid. Which, as those knowing me in real life, I can be dumb. Uh, I'll just leave it. God damn, this web camera sucks. I'm gonna have to tilt this, folks, so you can kind of. I want to see the her reaction when she comes out. But anyway, this is the new light. I like it a lot. I'm gonna get ones for for these guys. Uh, it's not a natural blue; it's more white, but it's it's brighter. And I know the UVB. This is gonna kill germs, like it says. Well, yeah, it's gonna be magical. Uh, negligible. Of course it is. We're not going to make that big of a difference, but what the hell. If I'm going to buy a light, I might as well have a little extra bonus to it. So. Oh, his water. Sorry, let me go back to that. The Hypo Lavender Motley, his water was out, and the poor little guy was just curled up in his water dish, and I was like, ah, oh, I'm so sorry. So, of course, I washed it out, gave him fresh distilled water, as you probably saw down there. It's, I always buy my distilled water for them. Um, and man, I just kind of picked him up and I kind of put his face in there. Oh man, I love watching snakes eat, folks. You haven't, uh, excuse me, drink. You haven't seen it. They got little like little cheeks that move. It's kind of cool. After the album, it's it's just cute. All right, she's popping her head out. She's like, oh, food. What's going on? You're not getting any food. Man, you realize you're not getting food now. I'm looking this up. Oh look, you're not digging good. I'm about to dig you out. And she's nice and curled up. So, hey, we go. come on, girl. Yeah, I know you don't like it. Come on. <laughs> well, actually, she's been, she was very good today. Oh, no, here we go. I spoke too soon. I spoke way too soon. She's a flighty one. She always has been, for those that watch my videos. But once I take her away from the floor, which she, she doesn't think that she can't get away, she usually calms down shortly to a degree. Getting her in, oh, stop it, Luna. You're not going to be able to reach that no matter how hard you try, so just stop. Look, she's just going right for my uh, computer desk. Calm down, girl. It's okay. It's okay, baby. She's getting big, though, huh, folks? She's not full-grown yet, but she's eating large mice once a week. And she hasn't gained that fat that I was talking about, the little chunks, so I think that's appropriate. Oh, you just don't like to be touched. Just don't like to be touched, huh? She gets really, she doesn't like to be touched. This is the way it is, folks. You just get some animals that don't mind to be handled, and other ones that just no matter how much you handle them, and I really should handle her more. Um, I just, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say I don't, I lack the time, because that's not true, but right, enough of my, my gut here. <laughs> oh, she's going to be a pain in the butt to get in here. Come on, girl. Behave, please. Please behave. Please behave. Please behave. And I forgot to, every time I forget to, as most of you know, you have to, uh, equal the scale out, or I said it properly before, but so it doesn't count the bowl as extra, uh, or the dish, like I said, as extra weight, but come on, girl, don't, come on, don't, don't be a pain, come on, no, 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 come on, get in there, come on, girl, 295 grams, woo, there she's calm now, yeah, she's girl, yeah, yeah, come on out, come on. See, once she's, she just doesn't like to be handled. I don't think she hates it, but she's just really flighty. Yeah, she's more calm now. Yeah, you calm now, girl? You try, still trying to get away? Huh? Yeah, I know. I gotta handle you more often, that's all. She's so pretty, folks. She really is. She's got that marble, purple shimmer to her. Oh, Luna. Yeah. 
you're you're popular, Luna. People want to know about you. Remember, I, I got her from BHB. I also got BHB Reptiles, which um, if you want to check them out, the they have a very extremely popular YouTube channel called Snake Bites TV um, that's hosted by Brian Parcheck, the owner of um, uh, BHB Reptiles. Uh, I'm in somewhat contact with one of their employees, Sam, very nice girl. So when I need help with Kulu Birds, uh, she, if she's not busy, she does get back to me. But hey, she's a very busy girl. And she's got a little bit of a following on the web. Unfortunately, some of that's sexual harassment, which I do not approve of. She behaved like gentlemen. Okay, when it comes to other guys, whatever, I don't care. But when it comes to women, gotta be a gentleman. This is not the locker room. <laughs> no guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, I got her from BHB. Again, she's Annery Lavender, which is also called a, mo a Moonstone. And um, I got my uh, Hypo Lavender Motley male from BHB as well. And then my Lava Lavender, and I. Uh, God, what is his name? Chris or Brian? I don't know, folks. Like I said, previous video has it. Um, I apologize to the breeder. No, I just cannot, cannot remember your name at the moment. So let me end this long video. It's already past 20 minutes, but I thought it was important to do an update video. Uh, maybe I'll do a feeding video because these guys are ferocious. Her in particular, when they eat. Oh, let me also add one more thing. Uh, I no longer have my Womo Python. I gave it away to a nice young gentleman that lives here in Arizona. Uh, I believe he goes by Ritzy Reptile or Ritzy something on YouTube. Um, you can look uh, you can look him up through my uh, YouTube page, I believe. But nice young kid. Um, you know, he he wants to get away from ball pythons and start breeding more more exotic ones and less common like Womas. And I think he wants to do carpet pythons and rainbow. Uh, Brazilian rainbow bows, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I just gave him away. Um, he said he wasn't going to sell them because he had another one, and I think he got loose and bit his girlfriend or something, so he had to get rid of it, and he sold, sold it for credit at a, credit at a uh, reptile store. I think he knows better than to do that. If he does, nothing I can do about it, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be just a good pet owner slash breeder. So, anyway... Enough with my chatter. Oh, I keep forgetting stuff. Uh, after I get my back taxes, I'm going to get a tub system because I am sick of the, the, the show cages are great. They, they look great, but they're a pain in the butt to clean. I'm tired of it. You know it's once a month. They take up so much room. I'm going to probably keep the cages and do some with them, but just going to get a rag for my corn snakes and probably... Get another more inexpensive rack to keep babies if I so choose to get more. And I have a local guy um, that I met at one, uh, one of the Repticons here in Phoenix that makes them. And he makes awesome ones for a very reasonable price. Um, same quality as some of the highest end ones that breeders buy. But So we'll be getting that soon. Uh, I'm looking to get, like I said before, I'm looking for that opal striped or that coral, uh, coral uh, lavender. So if anyone has any word on where to get that. BHB does not have any opal stripes on their website at the moment, so. And it's, the one thing that BHB does that I, that I don't like, and it's kind of fun, it's kind of not, is they don't, because they breed so many, and they breed so many different types, they don't, I mean, maybe they might if I ask them, but they don't put the heterozygouses on corn snakes, which if, most of you may or may not know, corn snakes have very few uh, co-dominant, dominant genes. Almost all of them, for color morphs, are our, our hets, heterozygous, so, or, excuse me, recessive, recessive genes, which means you got to breed them into each other and this and that, um, and they don't let you know the possible hets or the, the, or the hets they know for 100% sure, um, which is kind of interesting, so I have no idea what Luna is het for, if anything, but knowing how corn things are bred, I'm sure she's het for stuff. Um, and my Hypo Lavender Motley. My Lava is het for a few things. Um, forgive me, I, I posted on another video if you're interested, but I, I don't have the information for me right now. So, All right, we're at 25 minutes. I'm going to end this, and Luna's going to get put back in cage. This is Brad with Science Tier 1. As always, feel free to leave a comment or a question, and then I will get back to you. I'm very good about that. Later, y'all.